And may the reading of this holy gospel, may our sins be forgiven. Prior to the Mass here at St. Margaret Mary, I have the Mass of St. Joseph. And after the Mass, I was approached by one of the parishioners and told me, Father, I am so upset and disturbed of what I heard from the Gospel. I love my mother and I don't want to be divided against her. And I told her, congratulations. Yes, literally, that is not what our Lord means. He expects that, that our faith should be committed. Yes, you love your mother, but there are times that your wish may be against the wish of the mother, especially when the wish of the mother according to the will of Jesus, that there will be division. And worse, if, like for example, your mother is not Catholic and you are Catholic, indeed, there will be division. Right? And I remember when my sister approached me, Father, I wanted to be married, but I don't want to be married in the church. I wanted to be married civilly. And I told him, oh, indeed, there will be division. I am not going to allow you a brother against her sister <laughs> and a sister against her brother. Yes, my dear friends, there will always be the vision with regards to the standard of the world and the standard of Christ. And our Lord expects this to do the same because he has given us his all and he deserves to have best. So our Lord is inviting all of us to give it your best shot. And we often hear complaints of disappointment. When I started to serve the Lord, I thought all things would go well since God would bless me. How come? I am beset with problems now that I have given to service. Why? I'm trying to be good now and troubles come my way. These experiences are rife, so they cannot be taken as isolated cases. All of us experience this. Perhaps the gospel can change this outlook. Jesus tells his disciples, who also may have shared this misunderstanding, do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? No. I tell you, but rather division. And he describes division within the family, the most intimate unit, unit in society, our domestic church. Why is this so? Because the message of Jesus is most uncompromising and most universal. Again, because the message of Jesus is the most uncompromising, the most universal message of all. It is like a devouring fire, eating up and transforming everything along its path. That's why we may understand why Jesus said, I have come to set the fire, the earth on fire. The fire of the love of God should set the world on fire now. So let us ask the Lord that this transforming fire of Jesus ablaze our hearts so that we will have this committed faith that we will not compromise to the values of the world. Just recently, my mother said to me, can you just go home? 
now because I really miss you. And I told her, Mom, I am here, not for vacation. I am here <laughs> to spread the gospel of the Lord and the people of Lower Berlin and New Kensington needs me. Oh, you do not love me. I love you, but I love the Lord more and he calls for me to be here. Just wait, keep pushing. The waiting, keep pushing, because in due time, I will be home and you will be happy. In due time. So my dear friends, there will always be division between what we want and what the Lord wants, between what the values of Jesus and the values of the world. What is important is that we are committed. But unfortunately, many people are uncommitted they stay neutral and keep a safe distance. They are content with the minimum. Even in praying, attending Mass on Sundays, and confessing once a year. Yes, they avoid harming others, but do not go out of their way to help people in need. Like in this liturgy, how am I giving? my best shot for the Lord? Am I singing from the heart when I'm offering a song? Or do I respond to the responses or I just keep silent? And what's everybody? Oh, they are not responding. Me too. <laughs> so are we giving our all or we just content with the minimum? That's why it is so hard that many, it has long been campaign to join in the choir and nobody responded. He wanted to be at the minimum and wanted to serve the Lord from the distance. So my dear friends, yes, we always find ourselves uncommitted, and Jesus does not accept mediocrity. He gives all, and he demands all from us, our best. Also in our times, mediocre people could not stand someone who decides to serve the Lord more fully. They pull him down and find fault with his good intention. So let us not be surprised, my dear people of God, when problems come our way once we decide to commit ourselves more fully to the Lord. This is part of our dying that brings about new life. I remember the story about the butterfly. A man saw a butterfly in a cocoon and the butterfly struggled to come out of the cocoon. So the man decided to help the butterfly. He get the scissor and cut the cocoon and help the butterfly come out. And the butterfly, you know, struggled with a swollen body and the fragile feet. And the man thought all the while, that he was helping the butterfly, but all the butterfly can do is to struggle around with the swollen body and the fragile feet. My dear friends, it takes time to struggle. Allow our struggle in the cocoon of life so that the fluid of God's grace and God's love will flow to our wings and make it strengthen by the grace of God and His love. And in due time, from the struggle and the butterfly come out, it will fly around a beautiful butterfly. Also our life, 
Yes, we struggle, but allow the struggle to strengthen, to spread the fluid of God's grace and God's love in our wings. And we will come out a beautiful butterfly flying around ready to face life at its best. This is our life. And this is what the Lord means when he said, your faith must be committed. So my dear friends, our Lord is inviting all of us to give it your best shift.